Danny Segura here for MMA Junkie. I am with Alexandre Pantoja, UFC flyweight champ, who has a title defense coming up on December 7th against Kai Sakura at UFC 310. Alexandre, how are you, man? It's been a while since I've talked to you. Uh, how's life? Uh, how's everything going? Uh, everything's go very well, you know. Uh, like, uh, I take, uh, take some break, uh, some days off after my fight to the Czech. And I'm feel super fresh, super good to make this camp and uh, make a one good show in December. You know, very good opponent. I'm super excited for fight with someone, a Japanese samurai. For sure, man. And this is your third title defense. I know it's winning the belt was a long time in the making, right? Like you were gunning for that for years. You finally became champion. You've defended it twice with your third title defense coming up. So I wanted to ask you. How's life as the champion? Is it everything that you expected or more? Um, how's it been like uh, experiencing being a UFC champion? More interviews, more. Mm. But, you know, uh, of course, about money is much better, you know. Better, uh, big house, a fancy car. But I try to keep the same guy, you know. I think he, that's why I come to that place, you know. I, I, I think I improved to to have all, all the fighters all the world, you know, if you win your fight, if you still win your fights, you can take the belt, you know, because I'm, I'm never good with, uh, with words or about trash talking. And, uh, I prove, uh, if you're a good fighter, you make a good show. Good, uh, you, you can take the belt, you know, but like I say, uh, still with my feet in the ground, you know, uh, the best thing in my life is my family, still with my family. Enjoy. My, my kids grow up, you know, uh, show, show what, what, what the way he need to go, you know, because I don't have that opportunity and I make a lot of mistakes in my life, you know, but uh, that mistakes been bringing me here too. But like I say, like, what I try to say is like a, you have more, more things to do and then there's a little sacrifice because I, I can sp spend all my time with my family and my kids and but like a that's the that's the life, you know. Yeah, you mentioned their uh, fancy car. Did you treat yourself? <laughs> now as champion, what'd you get? No, it's not like a, something very expensive. You know, it's a, a Cadillac CT5. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. Very fun to to drive. Super cool. Uh, because I, before I have a Mustang, but my kids can enjoy. You know, because it's too small. Right. And I thinking about get a, a Seda with a comfort place, and uh, I found that one. Super good. If you kind of like want to sponsor me, <laughs> I'm ready for that. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but like uh, that's super cool, you know, of course. But what, what I try to say is the uh, because before I move, uh, I have a small, I live in a small apartment with my family, you know, and uh, in that place, I have the best happiness in my life, you know, and a small place uh, is uh, all the time uh, we together in the house because the house is so small. And uh, but th th that's the they the, like the life with what I like, you know. Still, all the time with my kids, my family, see grow up, talk with my 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 family. You know, uh, the best person I know in the, this world is my kids and my wife. That's for me. That that's enough. You know. Uh, sometimes when I I finish my train, I run to my house. You know, mm -hmm. to still with my kids and my family. I, I love to spend my, all my time with my family. And uh, that's super cool, you know. But uh, yeah, now we have a, a big house. You can enjoy the pool too. Uh, but that house is so cool because uh, we have this like a basement mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, and uh, we still everybody together. You know, the 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 the, the guests come and stay in the, the the downstairs, and us we still all the time here together, like in the small basement. Nice. That's super cool, you know, and. Uh, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, it's great to hear, man, because I know you've, you're an OG, you're a veteran, and you've grinded for so many years. You've been in the UFC forever, so it's nice to see that all these good things are, are finally coming to your career because for so long you were considered one of the world's best, and, and you were always, since the Ultimate Fighter, uh, aimed at becoming champion, and, and it finally became uh, came to fruition. Um, I were to ask you about the fight. Obviously, this is a very interesting fight against Kai Sakura, and he is making his debut and getting a title shot right away. So, um, what are your feelings towards that? Do you feel like it's deserved? Do you do you like it? Do you hate it? Um, how do you feel about Kai Sakura fighting for the title 
in his first UFC fight, considering that you had to claw your way up to the belt? Uh, I think it's all about time, you know. The, the life is about time, you know. And uh, in that time right now, I think that makes sense, you know. I think nobody can, like, I don't need to say apologize for anyone in the division because everybody have a good fight to do it, you know. Uh, Kai Kettle fans say he, that he's taking a wrong Kai. That's super mm -hmm. funny. But uh, I like Kai, uh, Kai Kettle fans, his fight style. Uh, but he just come from one fight, one win, you know. Before that, he lose to Rival and Albazi. And uh, Albazi fighting right now with Moreno. Rival make an uh, awesome fight with Taira. Uh, the flyweight move, you know, I like that. And uh, that's good for division, you know. Because, like, uh, everybody know about the, the, the flyweight right now. You know, the names, the fighters. Uh, we have a lot of main events in this uh, year. We have a Rival and uh, Moreno in the Mexico City. We have a Moreno uh, in Albazi right now. We have a lot of main events. I did the main events in Rio. Uh, that's super cool for the vision. And then you bring uh, Kaya Sakura, of course. Uh, that the, the crossover, yeah? That's what every hater in UFC talking about. UFC need to make a crossover to da 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 yeah. And then when UFC did that, the hatred come back and say, hey, Asakura don't deserve five of the belt. But uh, especially in my division, if you take it, uh, I, I love Rival too. That's a beautiful fight. What I did, he did it with Taira, that contender, super fresh guy, Japanese. Beautiful fight. I love to watch the grappling, the fight style. But of course, Rival lost for me twice, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it makes sense, you know. And this time, nobody can say nothing. And uh, that's good for the, the all division too because after my fight with Asakura, everybody gonna get the opportunity to fight with this guy too. You know, he he's good for the crowd, for the crowd, you know, for, for the all division. And uh, that's it. That crossover, uh, different fighter. Because when I uh, finished my fight with Chag, and uh, thinking about who's gonna be my next opponent, when I looked at the top five in the UFC, I know the game plan to fight mm. with all, all these guys. And then you bring someone very new. Oh, he's now right. change all the time. That's good for me. I like to do that challenge. Uh, I like to the because my last uh, opponent is a uh, one top ten, mm -hmm. and now I have opportunity to fight with someone new. That's very good for me. I like to do that opportunity, you know, to fight with that challengers, you know, because yeah. when you so some people not understand, but when you take the top ten, one guy will like a check. He don't fight with a lot of guys. He's a fresh. Yeah. And then he fights for the belt. Uh, maybe he have uh, he needed more a uh, couple fights. Uh, but after their check, after Kaya Sakura, I fight with Rival and Moreno, the best top two in division. That's super nice, you know. I, I like to that fight. I like to that opportunity to fight someone new, uh, the Japanese uh, samurai from Japan. Uh, it's some difference, you know. It's different to the to like I fight with Manel Cape before. Mm -hmm. When Manel Cape makes his debut in UFC, I fight with him, you know. Uh, I'm the top five, and he, he just come for UFC and make his debut with me. I never say anything about that, you know, because if I want to be the champ, if I want to be the best fighter of the world, I'm ready to fight with all the guys, and I'm super happy with the opportunity. December seven, three hundred ten. Fight with a samurai Jap a Japanese star, Kaya Sakura. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it, it definitely spiced things up, and it's a great addition to, to flyweight. Uh, but I, I do have to ask you, um, although he has fought at flyweight before, in the last years, he's most of his fights have been at 135 at bantamweight. He is the rising or was the rising bantamweight champion. The last time he fought at flyweight, if I'm not mistaken, was back in 2017. Any any concern about that? The fact that he hasn't fought a while in a while at 125, he has to make 125 on the dot because obviously it's a championship fight. Any any concerns about that? Uh, big guy, yeah. That's one thing I can thinking about right now. He he come big for that division, you know. But I fight with guys like him before, you know. Uh, is that going to be a challenge? Of course, everybody thinking about his weight. He can make weight or not. You know, uh, for fight for the belt in UFC, uh, that's a big opportunity for him. I know he's a big star in Japan, but when you go to the UFC, you, you need to make like a your deal. You know, you need yeah. to make the weight. 
but you know, in that position, maybe I'm the main event. I don't know, and uh, I need to start to to thinking about uh, how to be a good main event, how to how to sell better, because I'm just start to learn about that right now. You know, uh, I'm a good fighter. You know, I talking about that before. Uh, UFC is about uh, is an entertainment. I understand 100 that. You know, I want I, I know what people want to see. Uh, uh, everybody love the drama, you know. But I'm a good fighter, you know. I'm a good fighter. The UFC is that part too. So for the world, who's the best fighter? And uh, I want to prove that for myself every day, you know. Like I go to the gym to prove that every day to my my training partners, to do everyone. I want I want. Show all the world I'm the best fighter of the world, and uh, get the opportunity uh, for doing that in UFC. That's a, a dream for me. Yeah, no, and if you've definitely proven that, and and man, you, they just gotta play your high highlight reel. The last you know a few fights that you've had have all been amazing. Cool. You've won fight of the night, performance of the night on a lot of them. So. Um, yeah, you're definitely putting in the work and, and doing quite well, man. And I got to ask you, the reason why uh, Sakura is getting the shot, right? As you mentioned, there's not a clear contender at 125. And most of it is because you fought a lot of those guys, beaten a lot of those guys, and some even twice. Um, so I, I wanted to ask you, I know that like when you first won the belt, you were kind of calling out Sean O'Malley and there was some talk about that. Um, is one? He's not no longer champion, but is 135 still, still the plan? Is still a thing that you're interested in down the line? O'Malley who? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bro, he's not more the champion. Forget the guy, man. Because of course we have a history before, and uh, that's a good drama. That's about a good drama. I like that drama. That, yeah. You know, but uh, what I try to say is like I, I'm not one the guy gonna like a uh, uh, like a slap my opponent before the fight or something like that. You know, I respect a lot this game. You know. But uh, of course, 135. I th I think I just have a history with uh, Davidson Figueiredo. Mm -hmm. uh, I want he win the belt. Uh, one more Brazil with the belt. Of course, he, he fight style is, is very good, and uh, of that makes sense. Go to the bantamweight, you know. But I love my division, man. I love how uh, yeah. my cha my challengers, you know. Uh, I think he's like a. Of course, that, that, that UFC, you know, you, we need to make a, a, the good movement, you know. Yeah. But right now, I, I don't think I'm about to go to the mental age. Uh, okay. No makes sense. Of course, if Somali don't lose his belt, I talk to you. Of course, I, that's something personal, you know. Right. So, <laughs> but, so you were more yeah. interested in the person, not necessarily the move. Yeah, of course, because I, right. I, I know what's happened in the gym, you know. Mm -hmm. Now he posts the video and say a lot of shit about that, but. You know, I'm finishing him in the gym, you know, and uh, and I know I can I can beat him in the UFC, of course. But Mirab is a different game. I'm not gonna say nothing, you know. Uh, Davidson Figueiredo, I have a history with him. Okay, doesn't matter. I want the belt too, you know. I want the opportunity to fight with Figueiredo. I I want to prove to myself I can beat him, you know. Yeah. But that's it, yeah. Oh, Mali, who? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and lastly, because I know um, you, you, you got to go, but um, Henry Cejudo has teased down a move to flyweight. Obviously, you guys have history in the Ultimate Fighter. Um, I don't know if you guys you guys have trained together. I don't know how cool you guys are now. You know, that's that was a few years ago. But if he were to drop down, he's obviously interested in fighting for the belt. Would you be interested in fighting him? Is that something that, that you would like? I don't know how to say that in English, but like uh, in Portuguese, it's like a lipospiração when you're like a... When you go to the surgery doctor, yeah, like and, the uh, liposuction, is that what you're talking? Yeah, about? yeah, you need that for make the weight, you know. <laughs> I I don't think about he can make the weight again, you know. If he's yeah. too big, he talk go to the world. But I love it. I love the opportunity. If you hand who can can do that, I give him five pounds to to to, to fight, you know. But like, yeah. uh, it's gonna be a a, a dream fight with Sehudo, of course. Mm -hmm. He's a legend. All right, Alexander, well, a pleasure talking to you, man. Best of luck in this upcoming title okay. defense at UFC 310 on December 7th. So thank you so much. And, and again, best of luck in your fight, man. Let's go. Thank you, my man. Appreciate it. See you in December.